Hiking Creator fans! To start off with today's first invention, we'll need some aluminum foil and a box of matches. Remove the cover with the striking strips and take a few matches. Three of them will be enough. Put the rest of the matches aside and cut them in half with cutting pliers. Be careful with the small pieces that fly off. You may find this surprising, but for this invention, we're going to use the little wood ends instead of the match heads. I bet you weren't expecting that. Cut out an aluminum triangle and proceed to close it the way you see on the screen with the help of a stick. Then create a hole in the aluminum pouch with a sharp object. Hold the aluminum with tweezers because in the next step, things will get pretty hot. The reason we used the leftover wood was that we would need the calcine to create the first ingredient, ash. With a solid object, grind the large pieces of burned wood to turn them into tiny bits of ash. Now we'll move on to making the magic powder, which is used to light the matches. With tweezers, crush the heads of several matches. These will be the second ingredient. Using a stick, stir both components perfectly. And we'll go on to look for this strange paper, which I don't know the name of. For a while, I worked at a stationery store, and even then, I never managed to learn the names of many types of papers. If any of you know the name, leave it in the comments. After making the small folds you see on the screen, put a wooden stick on one of the ends and start to roll it up. Then, when you've reached the middle of the paper, apply some glue. In addition to using this glue for arts and crafts in school, it was a lot of fun to put some on your fingertips and peel it off. Once I tried it with crazy glue, let's just say it didn't end well. Once the four centimeter long tube is cut, take some clay from your younger brother. We'll only need a little bit, so I doubt he'll notice. Roll up a small piece of Play-Doh and put it into one of the holes of the paper tube. Remove any excess that might be left. Using the same wooden stick you used to roll the paper, press the Play-Doh down through the other hole. Make a shallow hole in the clay with a pointed object. And insert a wick almost completely. Bring back the fuel from our fireworks rocket and carefully insert it into the leftover space in the tube. It should not be completely full. Compact everything back down with our wooden stick and take out the firecrackers that inspired this invention. Carefully take one. Can you imagine if they caught fire? We'd possibly lose our hand and have to use a hook. Having cut the fuse of the firecracker, Take some more Play-Doh and put it around the part closest to the cut fuse and insert it through the other open hole head first. It's practically ready and you probably want to see it in action as much as I do. But if you want its trajectory to be upwards and not towards your neighbor's house, you'll still need to make a support, which I'll do with a wooden stick. To reinforce the rocket to the stick, use a piece of adhesive tape. The final step is simply an artistic touch which will give our rocket a more aerodynamic style. So look for a piece of cardboard or better yet, recycle some of the matchbook covers. Draw three triangles of the same size on the cardboard and cut them out with sharp scissors. If you cut them out like I did first, then cut them in more detail. It should be easier. With super glue, join the pieces to the body of our rocket and then it will be completely ready. I told you the fins would make it look more professional. It worked great. I wonder how high it went. Let's see if we can get a better angle on the trajectory of our mini Apollo 11. Find a working lighter for the following invention. And one of these tools containing more tools. I wish I could remember the name. If my memory serves me correctly, it had something to do with the Swiss. Remove the metal cover from the head of the lighter and the gear that activates the flame. If we turn the remainder of the lighter upside down, this spring and the stone that creates the spark will come out. We'll also need to remove the gas outlet switch. Once the lighter has been dismantled, take a roll of galvanized wire and cut a small piece. 
Set aside the coil of wire because we won't need it anymore. Take the lighter container and insert the piece of wire through the holes that you see on the screen. Bend the wire, making a grip. And with the help of a pair of tweezers, pull it with force to remove the last piece. Take the gear again and reinsert it back into place. Now, we'll assemble our mini saw to be able to cut both ends of the piece. It should look like this. With a pair of pliers, cut the small pivot that supplied the gas to the lighter. Ready? But what do you think? This was only the first one. We'll need to create several more. Well, actually many more, so run to the corner store and buy all the lighters they have. Eight to be exact. It's time for the popsicle sticks. As you can see, I ate four for this invention. Start by making marks on one of them every 2.5 centimeters using a pencil and a ruler. Well, let's do two at once to save time. With the help of pliers and a saw, cut both ends of the stick on the marks we made. And do the same with the other one. Now, take one of the sticks and place hot, hot glue on the guide marks. Then, glue down the pieces of the lighter we assembled. Have you guessed what they're for? I'll give you a hint. On the ends, we'll also apply hot glue and attach two more pieces pointing outwards. If by any chance you've already guessed what the invention is, stop the video and leave it in the comments. Let's see how clever you are. While we repeat the same process with the second stick, how about a little fun fact? The name of this device is Caterpillar Tractor, with obvious reference to the insect's way of moving. The most current patent was issued in 1901. It's mainly used for heavy vehicles, as it helps to distribute the weight better than a regular wheel system by using larger surfaces. In other words, it makes it a better off-roader than the famous Jeep. After this little information session, we'll need a popsicle stick wider than the previous ones, on which we'll make marks every six centimeters, and then cut it. You may need two to get the four pieces we'll need. Once you're all set, use some super glue and make a big wooden base. Also apply glue to our Caterpillar tractor pieces and attach them to the base we just created. It's looking more and more like the final product we'll have in a couple of minutes. To create the moving belts, use rubber bands, which are the most similar. Place the rubber bands on the gears, making sure they're right in the center groove. This way, when the gears turn, they'll move the bands. It's time to use that 3D printer we all have at home. What? Don't tell me you don't have one in the year 2021. Okay, in case you don't have a 3D printer, you'll need to get two pieces of plastic in the shape you see on the screen. Insert the pivot of a motor, like this, into the plastic piece. Set the motor aside and glue a bottle cap to the base with hot glue. This will serve as a support for our motor that we'll stick on top of it. Don't forget to attach the rubber band to this gear too. Leave some space on the cap because you'll need to glue another motor next to it, facing the opposite way. Our all-terrain vehicle is almost ready. Now take your brother's remote control car that he got for Christmas. We'll put it to better use than him. Make sure it's working properly and proceed to dismantle it. You may have to remove a screw or two, so have a screwdriver handy. See that whole electrical system? That's what makes the car move forward when you press the button. Insert four AA batteries and attach them to the remaining space on the wooden base with hot glue or any strong glue. Paste the circuit on top of it and to one side the power switch. Glue the copper foil below. And finally, connect the wires to both motors. I hope I didn't lose you in the explanation. Eat another ice cream. Cut a piece like the one you see on the screen and glue it in front of the battery box. Get a syringe and put all that awful and pull out that awful needle. Even I would run off if I saw the doctor take out a needle this size. Attach it with instant glue to the sticks we just glued down. Now, take the aluminum from the kitchen and cut a small square. Put it back before your mom finds out. Fold the aluminum like you see on the screen and roll it up with the help of a wooden stick. 
Then move the stick to be able to close one of the ends. Like most of our other inventions, we'll need matches in this one too. Take only a couple of them and save the rest for future inventions. Use a small sheet of paper to collect the magic dust made with a pair of tweezers. And then finish grinding them with a spoon. Once ready, put the magic powder in the aluminum tube we created a few minutes ago. Come here, Tanky. I have a surprise for you. I made you a present. It fits like a glove. Cut a piece of cardboard from a matchbox to make some small wings for the defense system of our all-terrain vehicle. As in past inventions, this simply gives a more professional and aerodynamic touch to the finished product. Besides, Tanky will be very happy. The wings must be glued with a little liquid glue. Tanky looks pretty good, doesn't he? Let's give him a tour of his new home. It moves very easily. Let's take a closer look. Very good, Tanky. You're doing great. Look how he drives over different obstacles without any problem. Isn't it amazing? It was even able to pass over the dreaded lighter. And if he feels threatened, he'll activate his revolutionary defense system. So don't make him angry. Thanks for watching our inventions made out of household items today. Follow my channel if you'd like to learn more about making simple yet incredible inventions. Also, click on the link to see more videos about my amazing inventions. Click on the link to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Until next time.